in yet another night of high drama in Westminster. UK MPs have rejected all eight proposed alternatives to Theresa May's Brexit agreement. Well, earlier, the Prime Minister promised her Conservative Party that she would stand down if Parliament backs her plan to leave the European Union. Well, the pound is down uh, a bit on the news. And earlier, we spoke with Peter Maguire from XM.com, and he told me why, despite all the political gyrations, the pound has remained relatively stable. I don't think there's been any definitive move yet from government, and in turn, that hasn't been interpreted from the market. So the market has kept the range-bound activity, that 130 to 132 sort of level, and until you see something definitive coming from the Brexit talks and where the, the interpretation of the market, then we'll see something to push it to a, a different stage. What definitive moment or event are investors looking for? They're looking for something to be a breakthrough. They're saying, do we see some move or something definitive coming from government to say, yes, we're moving forward with Brexit. We were very interesting that we saw that customs vote was too, uh, very, very close in the sense of um, yes and versus no. So uh, until we see something, next week's going to be a, a push forward and I think we'll see some movement there. With then. no alternatives and uh, Theresa May standing down, if indeed her Brexit deal pushes through, is this what's also keeping the pound stable? Well, I think it is, you know, and, and this is going to hold it for the next couple of weeks. Now, she's come out and said quite simply that May 22nd is going to be her furthest point it could be April 11, but May 22nd. So I think we're going to see some volatility over the next, say, four to five weeks. But Peter, this debate has been going on now for almost three years with still no certainty. Is it further eroding business confidence in the UK? Well, no doubt it is. There's no doubting that. But I think to have such a landmark decision come through a couple of years ago as far as the leave and that has been a work in progress to get to this point. Now, May 20, uh, March 29 was the decision date, and we're working towards that. Quite simply, you, this is not an easy task to get forward, and uh, it, it's not surprising, and I think the market's understanding that. And is the market also trying to understand, with or without a Brexit deal, down the road, the UK economy will survive? Absolutely, it'll survive. It's survived for probably a couple of thousand years, and I think it'll survive for many, many years to come. So there's no shortage as far as confidence in the UK. It's a strong economy, and uh, it's just the path forward. They have voted to get out, and that's where we're going. If there is a Brexit deal, where do you see the pound? If there is a Brexit deal, I think you're going to see volatility. It's hard to say where we're going to see, as, but you will see movement. It'll go up and it'll go down, and it'll be a whipsaw, and it could be quite violent in the sense of its, its movement. Uh, and it's hard to forecast where you're going to see it, but you'll see volatility, and that's where traders look for. Currency expert Peter Maguire 